welcome to the calendar. I'm Christina Elgin. Lots of great events going on this weekend, and the man to tell us all about it is the assistant lifestyle editor, Chris Copley. Chris, so much fun stuff going on. Hoping the weather cooperates. Yeah, well, it's been, you know, rainy and cold, <laughs> yeah. and we've had a whole mess the last One day uh, week air conditioner on, the next day the heater. So, well, let's just hope it cooperates. First of all, we have a benefit dance with the hubcaps, and they're widely well known around here. They are. They, and they, I mean, they play a lot of receptions, they play a lot of uh, fundraisers, they play a lot, of, a lot of dances. They do, you know, a variety of music from the 50s to the 60s, some, some contemporary stuff. Very, very popular group. Um, they don't call them the fabulous hubcaps for nothing. Um, and and this is at, um, at the Elks Lodge, and uh, it's uh, you know it's a dance. There's there's no benefit that was mentioned on the material to us, uh, okay. so it's just a dance for the fun of it. Okay, great. Let's get that information up on the screen for you. It's a benefit dance with the hubcaps at the Elks Lodge from 7:30 to 11:30 this evening. Tickets are $25 a couple, $15 for a single, and $125 for a table of 10. To purchase tickets, there's a telephone number on your screen. Next, we have a pre-Penmar ballroom practice session. What is that about? Well, Penmar is, um, it's, you know, the park up on the on uh, South Mountain, and it's hugely popular. The facility is, they've got a big pavilion there that people go and dance at mm -hmm. on Sundays during the summer. And it's ballroom dancing, but, you know, some co more contemporary things uh, and some, some more traditional things, waltzes and so forth. Mm -hmm. And every week there's a there's a band that plays. Well, that season opens uh, toward the end of May, okay. so uh, it's such a popular place. Up for it. It's right. It's such a popular place that the the museum, uh, the um, the Allison Entrum Museum in Greencastle, is hosting they because they do ballroom dancing through the year at the museum in their barn. Mm -hmm. So they're ha hosting a dance that they're calling a you know basically a practice dance, a, a preview. Okay. So. The idea is you come and you go through all those dances that you've maybe not danced in a while mm -hmm. and you remember how they go and I've got to do that myself. So <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's for. Okay, great. Let's get that information up for you. Pre-Penmar Ballroom Practice Session from 7 to 10 p.m. this evening at the Alice and Antrim Museum's German Bank Barn in Greencastle. Cost is $10 and there's a telephone number on your screen. Next we have a form and spirit reception and this is with artist Morgan Ballard. We talked a little bit about his artwork last mm -hmm, week. Mm -hmm. Right. So he is, um, he, uh, I bumped into him as he was setting up the paintings with uh, Ron Lytle in the gallery, in the okay. Contemporary uh, School of Art Gallery. Uh, that's here downtown. He'll have actually two receptions this week. The first one is during Taste of the Arts, which is, um, I guess that already took place. So his other reception is tonight. It's the official reception. Okay. And they'll have refreshments and Morgan will be there. He's, his art um, has changed over time and he'll have some of his older work and some of his newer work. Okay. Uh, but he's, uh, really looking for, the storyline is, you know, sort of a, a moral line. I mean, how do you express your, your belief and your faith and, and really be a good person? So that's kind of what he's exploring with his, with his paintings. Great. Sounds interesting. It's always good to meet with the artist. You know, right. when you go and see their artwork, you can talk to them and sort of ask what they were thinking. And, right. you know, sometimes it's, the message is apparent and sometimes it's not, and it's uh -huh. good to sort of see where they're coming from. Great. All right. Let's get that information up for you. Form and Spirit Reception this evening from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Contemporary School of Arts and Gallery in downtown Hagerstown. It is free, and there's a telephone number and a website on your screen. Now, we're having Smithsburg Pride Days going on all weekend. A lot of great events going on there. I'll say. This is a, there's some very big events this weekend. This is one of them. Uh, Smithsburg Pride Days, as, as an annual event, goes back years and years and years. So all the things that they usually have, you know, live music, uh, arts and crafts, um, they'll have, the, the library is having some historical uh, artifacts on display, they have lots of stuff to do, lots of places to go, and it's, uh, it's celebrating Smithsburg's heritage, which is, you know, a strong agricultural background, lots of, you know, fruit that they grow, and you I mean, you've, if you've been to the to Smithsburg during the growing season, you get their, you know, peaches and apples and on, on the roadside stands, well, right. they'll be celebrating that. And there's just a lot to do. Of course, the school boosters will be there and lots of activities you know, at the school and involving school kids and, and, uh, and programs that, that they do. Okay, let's show you that information for Smithsburg Pride Days. Um, starts this evening and runs through Sunday at Veterans Park and throughout the town of Smithsburg. Most events are free of charge. And for a complete schedule, there is a website on your screen as well as a telephone number. Now, the next event, Chris, is the National Pike Festival. And this is always a great event and a lot of history to it. It's great to see. Right. Tell the, me about this the one. The National Pike, I mean, you know, the, the, we're kind of in, a, in an interesting setting here in Washington County mm -hmm. because we have a lot of railroad history. We have road history, we have air, airplane history, the CNO Canal is not far away, so transportation corridors passing through here a lot, mm -hmm. and, and have, this has been a, in a, an important juncture. 
National Road was built in the early 1800s. It's uh, been hugely instrumental in getting uh, colonists to move west and, and move into the continent. So this is a celebration of that, reenacting sort of some of the motions, except they go from west to east. They start in, they gathering tonight in uh, Clear Spring, uh, wagons pulled by horses, some carriages, some more modern things. Mm -hmm. uh, but then they'll they'll motor, not motor. They'll uh, <laughs> they'll clop along the road, uh, the, the old National Pike, right. you know, uh, Route 40 and alternate Route 40, going to Hagerstown with some stops along the way, and then uh, ending up um, Sunday afternoon in Boonesboro. So it's a it's just a nice celebration. Interesting to see, yes. you know, and then uh, and then live music and food and and celebrating what that history means to the people of that time and to us. Okay, and these are reenactors that take part in this. Then. They are. Some of them are, and many of them are dressed for the time, and, and some of them are not. Okay. But it's uh, it's a it's just nice to see, you know, touch base and remember. Once upon a time, this is how the country moved. Mm -hmm. This is how people got around with with horses and wagons. Oh, and I would I would assume they're stopping and camping. Both nights they as are. Well. <coughs> okay. They are. Uh, they camp uh, tonight, Friday night. They're camping at uh, in in Clear Spring. There's a celebration tonight okay. where people can come and as the wagons gather. And then tomorrow morning they will uh, head out around nine o'clock. They'll make some stops. Uh, Wilson Store, which was an old town back in the day, they'll cross over the old bridge if the weather lets them. The old Conica Jig Bridge, and then they'll come uh, in through town. I think they stop also at uh, uh, Hewitt's Corners. And then they'll stop at the city park in Hagerstown, and then they'll camp for the night in, in Funkstown. Okay. And then the next day they make uh, make a couple more stops on the way to Boonesboro. Great. Right. And I think so. this would be a great event to take kids to see as well. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's get that information up on the screen for you. National Pike Festival. Wagon gathering is from 5 to 8 p.m. tonight in Clear Spring. And, of course, the wagons will travel from Clear Spring to Hagerstown on Sunday, and wagons will travel from Funkstown to Boonesboro. There's a telephone number. It is free, and there's also a website on your screen. Now, Next, we have a poetry reading at the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts. Stanley Plumley is the, the Maryland's Poet Laureate, and he will be, he's been in, in the county a couple days this week talking to students, and uh, he'll be tonight giving a reading of some of his poems. He's very much following on what we were just talking about, about old style, more agricultural ways. He's very much an outdoors poet, likes to use uh, references to uh, farm traditions and timing and uh, and animals and the natural cycles in his poetry. So he'll be giving a reading and then talking to the audience at the at the uh, Museum of Art. Great. Let's get that information up on the screen for you. A poetry reading this evening from seven at starting at 7:30 at the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts. It is free and there's a telephone number on your screen. And please join us again. Um, after the break, we'll have more events that are going on in Washington County over the weekend. Stay with us. You're watching the calendar.